we're cutting one inch steel tube to start dark ride cart number two. So I've cut all the pieces I need to build the subframe, or actually the main frame. It'll be four feet long by 26 inches wide. We're going off the same dimensions as the original cart. And so today we're just welding the basic frame and we're gonna create videos along the way uh, so you could see each step of the process. And now we weld the pieces together. So we have the base of the second cart. This is how the other one started out. Uh, we're going to have casters on the back. As you can see, we've got the drive motor. Uh, need to build a subframe for that and mount it to these bars. And a wiper motor for steering. Going to have a lazy Susan here and mount the sensors and everything on here. Hi, my name is Jay. I am Eric's assistant. Yes, we look alike with the same beards, but uh, it's fun to help him out with this stuff. And what I'm working on right now is we're putting together a subframe to go on to the uh, drive wheels. And at this point, what I'm doing now is just measuring the distance between the overall 15 inches. You take that minus the four and three quarters here, that puts you at 11 and one quarter, and half of that is five and five eighths. So we're going to put that right here so we can drill our holes and just like that so i'll set that right at five and five eighths right there and then that'll be the same on the other side and then we can mark that with a marker and then we'll uh drill the holes and put in the bolts time to mount it with the, the motor. While we're waiting for paint to dry, I thought I would start assembling the steering mechanism. And the way I do that, uh, I've got these casters here. I'm taking them apart and we're going to bolt these guys together to make a fixed axle. And we've got this eighth inch steel. I'm gonna cut into six inch pieces to cover this plate just to reinforce it because too thin and too weak as it is. But this is it. This is the heart of the steering mechanism. So with these pieces cut and welded, they'll fit on here. And then the casters, which will be bolted together because I need them to track 
together, not as two separate steering mechanisms. And that will look something like this. So bolt that in place. Once we get the, the motor mounted, this is how it's going to steer the cart. It'll have the sensors looking at the line which runs between here. The third sensor, the safety uh, cutoff I guess, will be between the wheels. And this will all get bolted under the front of the frame. What I've done so far is I've taken those brackets that were uh, four and three quarters wide and hammered them down onto the, the mounting square posts and uh, turn it up this way. Then the piece we created where you see the holes drilled. Just gonna go ahead and throw that down here. And then we're gonna line these up and put the bolts in them. And get that set up. A little bit easier with gravity helping there. So I told you you needed the extension. You just can it. There. Look how much better that works with the extension. Yeah, just get me the longest extension ever. Oh, I got a longer one. Yeah. So that's the finished well, product of this part anyway, and uh, then mount this with the uh, suspension uh, with the other frame which is right over there, and eventually they'll go together. Okay, we've got everything painted and assembled, so the cart will roughly look like so. We'll have our drive wheels this way. Steering mechanism will fit roughly here, and then the rear casters will be back in the back here. Uh, we need to drill and bolt them, but there you go. That's roughly the the drivetrain of the cart.